of Bunny Nerdigans. This is the one and only Packer Girl 89 of Nerdigans Inc. And today's manga Nerdigan live reaction video is going to be for Chainsaw Man Part 2, Chapter 65, aka Chapter 162. But before I get into this recap and live reaction, we are at war with YouTube's algorithm, and it is slowly but surely killing my channel. And in order to defeat this algorithmic beast, we need you to please hit that like, share, and subscribe buttons. And because, of course, this channel, let alone this video, are not sponsored enough. Uh, we ain't sponsored by Shueisha, and nah, we ain't sponsored by Manga Plus, and nah, we ain't sponsored by Viz. And considering how much we promote Manga Plus on this channel, kind of surprising, right? <laughs> but, if you love what we're doing and want to help keep me, my little devil kitty who caused me to sleep in this morning, <laughs> and this operation literally alive and kicking, so we can keep bringing you more anime and manga content, whether it be news, analysis, or live reactions like this one, Feel free to hit up our cash up at PayPal. Links are in the description box below. So, and something we've been doing for a while is uh, because Viz, for some reason, hates having the opening and closing text. And, um, and Shueisha still hasn't um, put their own localization um, for every title in their catalog, and it irritates the hell out of me. Um, what we've been doing is translating the opening and closing text from the more accurate Spanish localization, which is available uh, for free on Manga Plus. So, I am really excited for this chapter because now um, Asa knows Denji is Chainsaw Man. And not only that, we got Quonksy up in here now. So let's get to this chapter, see what's in store for us today. A dreadful order has been issued, and this chapter is titled Fearsome. Wait, don't kill me, please. I, I really respect you. You're so strong and your skin's so pretty. Plus, I'm dying to know what shampoo brand you use. <laughs> oh, Asa took the nails out. Ooh. Oh, she decapitated Katana Man. Oh, my God. I do want to stress this because I guess people don't know this because I've had people in my comment section mention about... um about Katana Man being alive, um, both on Twitter and I believe on YouTube as well. Um, yeah, hybrids don't die. They don't. They are basically immortal. I think the only way you can really kill them is uh, destroying their heart, if I remember correctly. But yeah, that's one of their things. Hybrids are immortal. So Katana, Katana Man's going to be fine. Scalpel Sword. <gasps> no, no. Ooh, scalpel sword, yes, yes, yes. I thought she was going after Denji first. I was like, no, no, no. But scalpel sword, yes, yes, yes. This fight against Quanxi is, is freaking amazing. No! Dude, Quanxi is just kicking everyone's ass. Like, this is waifu here. Yeah, dude, the poor kids are traumatized. Like, yeah, you put yourself there. Quonksy ain't gonna kill him, but... Dude, he's using Deji's head as a shield. I love how she's looking at Deji. She, uh, Deji's like... Uh. <laughs> Yay! Get on with it. An old friend warned me to never make an enemy out of this one. Why? Why can't any of these devils do as they're told? Your lover's bodies are in public safety's cut. Whoa! So her fiends, a.k.a. her lovers, they're, they're in custody. Your lovers' bodies are in public safety's custody. You can always dump them in some ditch rather than return them to you. Ooh, you said the wrong thing. Look, let me say one thing. Women are... Uh, <laughs> women! <laughs> he got... She got you, bigot. That, there is some... So, no, it wasn't Quoxy that did it. Was it Denji? Samurai did cut through that door earlier, didn't he? Oh, no, it's one of the fakes. Yeah, that works. I'll pretend I lost you guys. Kill me. No, no, not Quonksy. What? You must be, jo must be joking. I won't die. Oh, thank God. I won't die. I'm like Chainsaw Man. Oh, <laughs> the doctors. We didn't hear a thing. I'll do it. Um. I'll do it. Answer me this, though. Is Chainsaw Man stronger than you? He's weaker, but far more fearsome than me. No, Quoxy! Death clears the way. See? See how important 
important it is to have the opening and closing text. Because if you didn't have the closing text here, it would have just made the ending of this chapter awkward. But no. <sighs> Let me go back to this. So if she's, um, if she says I won't die, I'm like chainsaw me. Hold on. I don't remember Quanxi being a hybrid. Okay, I had to double check, but yeah, Guangxi is a hybrid. So yeah, when she says she's like Chainsaw Man, she's confirming that she is a hybrid. I just what I just wanted to make sure. But did we see her hybrid form? I don't think we saw her hybrid form in this fight. No, I don't think we did. Not, yeah, not in this fight. We didn't see her use uh, her ability. So, yeah, because for her hybrid powers, what happens is, and thank God, thank God for Chainsaw Man Wiki, thank God. Um, for her hybrid power, um, she, uh, when she pulls an arrow out of her right socket, Quanxi can transform into a hybrid with many arrows and spikes emerging from her arms and head. And also, similar... Um, with the, uh, um, where is it? So similar with the, um, with other hybrids, she does have a high immortality and <laughs> I, Wiki, that is so me for saying this. They said in here, due to being a hybrid, Quanxi is immortal and, um, and nearly unlikable. <laughs> no, she's not unlikable. I love Quanxi. Um, despite, um, likely being over 50 years old, Quanxi, uh, still looks like the same she did 30 years ago. Even if she dies, as long as someone pulls her arrow, Quanxi can come back to life, um, in, uh, perfect condition. Okay, so who's gonna pull the arrow out? That's a really good question. Who will do it? Who's gonna be the one to pull the arrow out? Will it be, um, will it be Katana Man? Maybe. Cause it, or will it be, um... Because her, uh, what was it? Her, um, her lovers, aka her blood fiends, their bodies are somewhere. So, yeah, there's that. But, hold on. This is gonna bug me. Where are you, Quanxi? Here we go. Mmm. Okay. One, because she's a private sector devil. Well, one... You know what? This makes even more sense for Quoxy to do what she did and not listen to this motherfucker because she is a private sector uh, devil hunter. It makes so much sense. It really, really does. But who's going to pull the arrow out and bring her back to life? That's the question. I don't know if it will be Asa. I really don't. Um, hmm. Who will do it? I'm very curious what you guys think. Who do you guys think will pull the um the arrow out of her eye? It could it could be nail uh the nail fiend. It could be them because they're a lot like Cosmo. I know I got them mixed up with Cosmo. I feel so bad for that, but I really God. I miss Cosmo, speaking of. But that looks like that looks like Cosmo. Until I see a body, like the nail devil is really that is Cosmo. I swear. But the other one that we're missing here, and I know people are pissed because um, we haven't seen them yet, is Rize. Um, do I think I'm gonna stick with my with my gut feeling on this and uh, um. And go with, uh, uh, I think nail, I think the Nail Fiend, I think they're going to be the one to pull the arrow out of um, Quoxy's eye. I do. Because um, they were in Special Division 7 with Quoxy, so it makes more sense for this to happen. I, that's who I could see doing it. Um, but yeah, the only one we're missing from the Fiends right now is Rize. And the one we haven't seen yet, now that I think about it, is, um, is the, we haven't seen the Yuta in a bit. 
So I wonder if Rize is going to go save, if we're going to see her save in the universe or are we going to see her here? I still think in regards to Rize, I think she will appear either when the next trailer of uh, the Rize movie comes or when the actual movie comes out. It's going to be one of those two. Um, but God, I can't, I can't wait. I can't wait to see her. But yeah, for those wondering, no, Quanxi is not dead. Um, Quanxi is a hybrid and we didn't see their, her hybrid power here. No, but man, I'm not gonna lie. I love the surges. We're just looking at each other. It's like, we didn't see anything. But there's also that acknowledgement here in regards to um, Quanxi um, saying that, uh, you know, that Denji is weaker than her. So at least we, we have that still. We got that confirmation. We kind of think, I think all of us kind of knew that, but her saying it really brings it into perspective. But far more fearsome than me. Hmm. I think what she means by that is Denji, Denji's an idiot. <laughs> you never underestimate the power of stupidity. Like, Denji, he doesn't fuck around. No. He will go the fuck off if you set him, set him off right. But man, I really liked how this ended with one of the fake Chainsaw Mans coming out and um, being the one to get the kill. That felt so right. It did. But let me know your thoughts in the comment section below what you guys think. And remember to like, comment, share, and subscribe to Nerdigan Zinc. Love what we're doing and want to help keep this operation alive and kicking so we can keep bringing you more um, Chainsaw Man content. A few ways you can do that. Donate to our Cash App, PayPal, Patreon. Purchase something off our Amazon wish list. All that's in the description box below. Also, make sure you follow us on Twitter, Twitch, Discord, friend us on PlayStation Network. That's in the description box below as well. Till next time, Nerdigans, I will be seeing you later. Bye.